Well, how about a game that they're only trying to get in front of more people, and that's Call of Duty. Call of Duty recently, uh, Microsoft announced that they've made a deal with Nintendo, a 10-year deal, to bring Call of Duty back to Nintendo. I'm pulling from Andy Robinson at VGC. Microsoft has signed a 10-year binding legal agreement to bring Call of Duty to the Nintendo platform, it has been claimed. According to the Xbox firm, its previously announced commitments, now apparently legally binding, include releasing future Call of Duty games, quote, with full feature and content parity, end quote, on the same day as Xbox, should its proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard be approved. Quote, we're committed to providing long-term equal access to Call of Duty to other gaming platforms, bringing more choice to more players and more competition to the gaming market, end quote, the company said in a statement. The last Call of Duty on a Nintendo platform was all the way back in the Wii U in 2013 with Call of Duty Ghosts, which allowed players to use a Wii remote to aim the motion controls. Uh, I have concerns about this. I don't know that a Nintendo Switch can run a Call of Duty game at this point. Jerry, you play a lot of Call of Duty, right? I was doing it a before little... I got on. You, you did. <laughs> well, but... yeah. Um yeah, look, I don't know if it'll run, uh, but fair play if it does, if it works. It'll look like garbage. Um, mm. I'm buddies with um, James C. Burns, the voice actor of Woods in the Black Ops games, and he talked about you know making there was one game in the Black Ops series made only for Nintendo, and it was one of the most annoying things he ever did. <laughs> so I don't know if it's gonna be, you know, what we're looking for. Yeah, Cayman, but, do you think but, this is? Oh, sorry, go ahead. It's funny, like they want to bring it back on Nintendo. The first time I ever played COD was on the Nintendo Wii. Really? Black Ops One Zombies, or no World, World of War Zombies on the Wii. Yeah. Mm. Hey, bringing it Wii back. Where to start? Yeah. Uh, Cayman, do you think this is a few weeks ago when we had our predictions episode? You said we're getting a Switch too. Do you think? Because I just don't think a Call of Duty game can run on a Switch, but no. perhaps it can run on a Switch too. Do you think this is maybe a hint that a Switch Two is is coming sooner than we think? The only way that this would work is that if Microsoft ends up being like Activision, you can make games specifically just for the Switch. Yeah. Like, that's the only way that this works. There's no fucking way this is going to run. Anything's going to run on the Switch. Look at The Witcher 3 running on the Switch. Right. The game it's was all bad. The, <laughs> it's awful. This is not going to work. It's not going to work. My biggest question is, like, they're already signing deals right now. And this, like the the uh, acquisition, hasn't even gone through yet. Yeah, yeah, it's that that little the little thing at the end. If the deal goes through, um, so then yeah, I wonder if the deal doesn't go through. I guess Xbox is like, no, fuck you, you guys can deal with it. It's not our problem anymore. Um, and but for them to to think or to to say it will have full feature and content parity, I don't know. A bit insane. Like A the, bit the, insane. The. the most performance heavy game I can find on a Switch is No Man's Sky, which you know it's pretty performance heavy now, but not as performance heavy as Call of Duty. No yeah, way. I would like image scaling being better and so on. Maybe, maybe they get something. But what was the, it I've wasn't... never heard of image scaling on a Nintendo device. Yeah. Ever. So like. Now what was the? Well, it wasn't uh, Modern Warfare Two. What was the one before that? Um, I'm trying. To, I'm blanking on the name, but it was like download size alone would take up the entire hard drive and oh, then sure. and another SD card would to just to have like what it needs to be able to run. Like that's not going to happen. That's just yeah, not that's what, I didn't even happen. think about that, that like the default yes. SD card on a switch is like what, like 32 or like 50 gigs or something like that. Like, it's not big. So yeah. Wow. That I didn't even think about that. They, they will have to compress that shit for it. It'll, to, a, it'll run like horse shit. Do you think they'll, they'll <laughs> go the, the, um, like how th- games like Control on Switch or uh, Kingdom Hearts on Switch, they're streamed. They're you don't actually download them; you just stream them. Do you? Th- but like but with it being a twitchy first person shooter, I don't think you could do that. I don't, I don't think, think you so could either. stream it. You at least couldn't play multiplayer online. Like that's right out the window. There's no. There's no. Also, way. Nintendo Online is terrible. So <laughs> like also that. Now I I am curious, Jerry. You. So your PC only? Do you use Game Pass on the PC, or do you are you specific to like Steam, Epic? What what's your current? I setup? look, I'm Irish, I'm cheap. <laughs> um, I, you know, I gotta buy drink, gotta buy potatoes. I can't afford to you know have to 
spend full price on games, right? So I, I, I use everything. But Game Pass, oh my God. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for that one. Yeah, it's it's I, I love it so much. Some awesome games on that man. Playing Scorn for the first time. Now granted I, I couldn't do shit on Scorn, but beautiful game. Uh look, it would have cost an arm and a leg. Getting to play Evil Within one and two for like nothing. Literally yeah. nothing, because at the time, if you gifted two subs on Twitch, uh you got like a code for up to three months on the game pass. Oh, cool. Someone subbed and then gave it to me. So it was just like it was awesome. Yeah, that's amazing. That's fucking awesome. So I'm assuming the the Activision deal, like that's something that you hope goes through just because like you'll get day and date any Call of Duty, any of those games, right? Or are you more hesitant on it? Like because I'm no. I'm very hesitant on it. The the reason it's a good thing, right? And uh, do you play Call of Duty? Me personally, I haven't played a Call of Duty game since I think Black Ops 2. But this is this is great for you. This is perfect, okay? So you get a bunch of Nintendo kids, okay? They're, they're playing, you know, Animal Crossing, and, you know, they're, they're playing, you know, Mario Kart, Let's whatever. Fucking go. And you put them in a high-intensity FPS game with, like, these terrible controls, like, realistically, compared to, like, an Xbox controller or a keyboard, they don't stand a chance. So now you, this is your chance to come back, right? The, the, the kids go in, <laughs> you know, they're playing with their buddy on the Xbox, and then they get wiped. Look, now, now I... Now a chance. If you're bad, get good again. You'll dominate. I tell you what, I don't, there's, there are a few things as fun as Fortnite on the switch because I can win so many games of Fortnite on the switch because I'm playing with fucking six year olds and I, I can win like four games in a row. I go to PlayStation. I'm the fourth person kicked out of the game. Like I, so that's a very good point. I might pick up call of duty again because I could actually start winning. And the part that's most enjoyable, I think it's not, I'm not alone in this is with the new, you know, proximity chat feature. That now when you kill these Nintendo kids, you get to hear the crying, you know? <laughs> so It's a win-win. This is what I'm looking for to lads. Yeah, it's it's a win-win. Tony in the chat, this is more than COD, right? I thought they were going to bring more Xbox game to Switch. So far, this is just about Call of Duty, this this particular deal. They said it's just about um, bringing specifically Call of Duty games to, to, uh, to Nintendo consoles. But if the FTC, if the EU is pushing on them about the monopoly concerns i wouldn't be surprised if they start just bringing more games of theirs to other platforms like nintendo and playstation so that the deal can go through so that they can make fucking so much money um so but this specific thing is just about call of duty tony i forget what the what the the conference they were at but they did some presentation they were talking about how the, like the the disparity between sony and xbox currently in the market and it was something like they claimed that it was something like 70% of the market is PlayStation and like people owning PlayStation consoles or Sony consoles. And then 30% is Microsoft's stake in the market right now. And that just blew my mind. I was like, that can't be fucking right. Like that's, there's no way that they're that far behind in console sales. Like there's just no way. I, I, so I that know, doesn't take into consideration Nintendo. They so that's the thing, they never bring up Nintendo, which I'm wondering if the reason they did that was because they were like, Yeah, the Switch is literally what the third best selling console of all time now. Sure. Like if anyone's the market leader, it's fucking Nintendo. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But I mean that's the thing though. Nintendo well, honestly, I say that, but honestly, it might be PC. I mean, I'm even well, if sure. You, yeah, if, if if COVID never happened, PC would be dominating in every single capacity right now. But right now it's you know. You spend six hundred quid for like a ten fifty Ti graphics card, so sure, you know, it ain't the that, best right now. Yeah, um, that's it, money. it's better now. It was worse back then, but yeah. So I am One curious. Day. Though, I'm curious. I want to ask, I, as someone who doesn't have a gaming PC because I'm a schlub who doesn't have the money to do that. Um, also, I wouldn't have. I would have no fucking idea how to build one. Um, like, how often are you upgrading parts to your PC to stay? like to keep things relevant with like the the continued expansion you know they're dropping cards they're doing all this shit constantly it's like how often do you have to make investments that are you know 400 500 600 dollars to get up there october january and now uh someone from my chat bought a new ssd for the 
setup just so I can run some of these triple A's a bit better. So, you know, they're all the time. I had to yeah. buy a new memory, new graphics card, and a new CPU. And there's stuff coming all the time. And it's 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 kind of future proofing in a way, but there's no such thing. <laughs> right? right. Like I you know, two years ago I might have had the best PC around, but I it's not gonna do as well as you know, like the, the 40 series that just came out, you know, the video in there, crazy graphics cards. But yeah, it's it gets expensive, like, and you know, I'm very, very grateful, like, you know, with, with streaming, it kind of cuts down the costs. You know, people might donate, I might bring up like this game's running like complete dog shit. Yeah, and someone, you know, might buy an SSD, might buy RAM, whatever. So CSK in the chat. Assassin's Creed kind of sucked on the Switch. I hope that Harry Potter Legacy will be good so that I don't use my boyfriend's uh, PlayStation to play it. But I will be shocked if Nintendo Switch can handle non-Nintendo games. Yeah, I mean, I will be so shocked if a Call of Duty game can actually run on this console. But we'll see. We'll see. 